2004 blast of the past rollback was amazing. This is the first event that I have been playing since I've been uh, back to making content and back to regularly uploading content. So I think that this event was definitely an important event, number one, for me personally, because 2004, uh, meta is kind of like around when i first really started to get my bearings around the game really start to really understand competitive uh Yu-Gi-Oh! and very soon uh not too far along after that gladiator beast ended up dropping and then that was just off to the races from there i think that konami should not drop the ball on this i think konami should definitely most definitely include goat format edison format or e or or even just blast from the past 2004 format either as a mainstay ranked component of master duel or just make it accessible uh for uh rooms that's all you got to do because at this stage this game is really fun I enjoy playing this game and I am definitely enjoying um, playing full power Yu-Gi-Oh! And don't get me wrong, I am not making an argument to say, oh, this is better than that. I am not making that argument. I am making the argument, making the statement or putting out the passionate plea that it is important to play this older format alongside the current format. Because I think personally, that with this format it's providing a real way a real means a real path into the game that isn't locked into or focused a hundred percent around like the actual meta and also it's still the same context it's still the same framework it still looks and feels like the current tcg but the only difference is is that we are playing this much slowed down version 2004. so now that I've kind of gotten that out the way and you guys know that this is clear what I want. So then, you know, if the Konami people working at the Konami factories, you know, out there in the, in the Konami land, if you know, you're doing what y'all doing uh, from y'all side, y'all can go ahead and drop on the video if you want to. But now I want to talk about some other stuff that I think is really important about this whole concept or this scheme. Now, one thing I want to point out, I want to, I want to say it right now. Yugi Boomers, I don't think you guys remember accurately what you're asking for. You know, I've seen lots of like memes or like shorts where people are talking about Edison format and then they maybe they'll point at something like Light Sworn and talk about how they can OTK with Wolf and things like that. Nobody likes being killed in one term. Nobody likes that. Nobody likes losing in one term. Okay. Everybody likes to win. And if you can win in one turn, you definitely take it. But losing in one turn just feels dirty. But I will propose this to you. In a format where cards like Solemn Judgment, Royal Decree are popular mainstays, okay? And in this particular format, we have Horus Level 8, which is negating spell cards. If they get out the horse eight and they flip over the Royal Decree, they got you locked in. There's no side deck, so you just lose. If you don't have the options to out that right there, kind of just lose. They can set that up with level up. They can set that up on the second turn by attacking you. It's very easy to get both of those things on the board. You can even put Dragoon and Horus on the board on the first turn and attack and go to eight. You can have an untargetable monster that can negate all spells and King Dragoon on the field for two cards. That's pretty modern Yu-Gi-Oh to me. But I think um, what's happening here is why I say people aren't remembering it because it is just as cheesy. It's no difference. It's just as cheesy as it was back in the day. It's just as cheesy as it is right now. It's, it's the same cheese. Like just because you didn't lose on turn two and you end up losing on turn 16 doesn't mean <laughs> that you had a better game. That just means you drew out the inevitable. I think that both of these formats have their place and they both should stand alone. Konami, you messed up by introducing this and putting this into our hands. 
why would you think that we would just easily walk away from this? Why would you think we would just easily forget about this or discard this or, 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 or think that we'd move on from this? You presented real value. You have delivered <laughs> on that value and given the people what they asked for. It doesn't make sense for you not to capitalize on this market. There are people talking about this right now and saying, we know you're not going to do it. We know you're not going to do it. Surprise us. Surprise us and do it. Do it. Surprise us and do it. Make it mainstream. Say it on X or whatever. <laughs> Make an X video and say it on X. <laughs> It shouldn't have never changed the name of that site. <laughs> but make make a video and be like, my boys, it's on the way. I mean, don't, don't you don't even gotta drop nothing. You don't gotta put nothing up. You don't gotta tell us nothing. Just say, hey, my boys, it's on the way. Because you gotta really, you gotta really understand. If you if you hadn't been watching anything, Konami, and you wanted to see somebody really enjoy themselves, get back into that game and feel and feel I I felt like I warped back to 2004. I felt like I whoosh, I felt like like just so happened for me during this week when it was live, it was hap it just so happened to be my week where I'm getting back into making content, getting back into uploading new videos every day basically. <laughs> and um that being said, this, I, I really it felt so good to start, like quote unquote, the proverbial back to square one is where I am, quote unquote, in my life. It's you know that's not a bad thing. I'm just starting on a new adventure, but I'm saying, as I began my new adventure, this the second phase to the quote unquote plan, bam, fat blast to the fast 2004 meta. I had a whole other strategy and plan and videos I was going to make, but that whole 2004 meta just shook me up out of that. And now I'm like, man, I am sad. It's gone. Like I, I'm not going to be able to play that anymore. And we have, well, let's say we got, we got like 15 hours or something like that. 12 to 15 hours of just streaming that alone. Konami, man, I'm going to just be real with you. I haven't been streaming for a while i haven't been streaming making content for a while but konami i was putting in four hours every day in the 2004 format you gotta come on or every other day man come on that's how cool the format was and not because i don't want to play against ash or maxi or or i don't want to be otk'd or any of that no primarily what it was about was the nostalgia this nostalgia that I experienced playing this game, playing 2004 Yu-Gi-Oh! in a modern context with my modern internet boys, with the internet friends, with, with the fam. The feeling, if it felt like a perfect circle, and I believe that was the name of a Yu-Gi-Oh! deck back in the day, but it feels like a perfect circle. Like it started here, and, and, and I've went all the way around. I've gained so much knowledge, experience, picked up so many things along the way, all the friendships along the way, as they say. And as I built all that up, I'm here again with a mission ready to deliver. I'm here again with the mindset. And as soon as I sit down, they're like, you can play Donzalu. You can play. DD Warrior Lady, you can play Breaker, the Magical Warrior, Snatch Deal, Change of Heart, Soul Exchange, Baby Song, MST, Lamader. <laughs> like you can play all those cards in this format and really get in there again. You can play Battle Traps. Boy, we playing Battle Traps out here. You ain't flipped up a face down Sakurai armor since I don't even know how long ago. Do they got it in Duel Links yet? Who knows? I'm saying the feelings of playing this deck using cards like Mirror Wall, using cards like uh, freaking Bottomless Pit Trap Hole, uh, Pot of Greed, Ceasefire, um, <laughs> Death Koala, Stealth Bird, Ring of Destruction, Magical Cylinder, Tribe Effective Virus, Exiled Force. I could go on <laughs> for the entire duration of the list. But I'm saying 
that this is real. This is a, this is like a valuable thing that I think people could really get into if Konami would just, you know, get a, you know, you know, put some effort into making it a permanent thing. Because at this stage, you know, Master Duel, you know, they're doing a great job. Like, you know, as somebody who was being very casual to both Master Duel and YouTube, when I came back, when I was ready, I just looked at how amazing Master Duel was, how all these changes have been made and all these new features have been added, very similar to Duel Links and Rush Duels. And then I have like all these tools, I have all these toys, quote unquote, and I'm like ready to play. I'm like, like so interested and excited to just get into the game and enjoy all these new things. But everybody's not like me and everybody's not in the same situation. A lot of people have been in the trenches since day one. They never stopped. So, you know, some people are just kind of like, you know, give us something new, give us something different. And what people want is the NSF format because the Edison, because think about it, how cool that is. If, if you put that format on here and make it a thing, then it could be at Worlds. Then it could be a, a part of the whole um, Yu-Gi-Oh uh, portfolio of products. And I think that that would be really cool. Um, something like that could bring back old players. I have players that are in my friend group or previous Yu-Gi-Oh dueling group. And those guys aren't gonna touch Borlo Savage. They don't wanna know what that does. They don't, they don't wanna find out the nuances of that shit, let alone pay a thousand dollars so they can play a uh, snake eye. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, like these people aren't gonna come to the game for the modern game. And these people aren't gonna come to the game for Rush Duel. And they're not, and they didn't come to the game for Duel Links and they didn't come for Master Duel. So if all these people didn't come for those things, the only way you can get those people is to attack those nostalgia points directly. And I know you can hit for 8,000 Konami, come on. I know you got the OTK for the Bugi Boomers, come on. You've got to do it. If you don't do it, guess what you're doing? You're missing. You're dropping the Thunderball. Come on, man. Don't do it. Don't drop off. Come on. You mess up, it's going to get sealed away in time, and nobody's going to care. Come on, man. You've got to unleash a royal decree and drop this new and drop this new thing ASAP. Drop it, Konami. Come on. But I just really wanted to just point that out. I feel like that needs to be said because nobody's saying, nobody's talking about this like making a video. Like, I see people making content and I'm out here making content. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's a lot of people out here making, you know, lowercase c content. I made some lowercase c content off of this, as you do. But nobody's talking about it nobody's saying like man we should really like keep buzzing this up because where i'm hearing about it is in my chat you know i see it casually maybe in someone else's chat like it's just not like people aren't getting up saying give us this konami give it to us and i think people do want it like as i've read people comments and you can definitely leave comments down below what you think but as i read people's comments people mainly were like hey you know, I know they're not going to do it, so I don't really want to play. I don't really want to invest. And I mean, what are you doing with this whole ban list? Like, it's so silly. Like, why would you bring back 2004 Yu-Gi-Oh? And then you're, you're forcing me to pay gems and stuff to get good cards so that I can play this format. But I can't use any of these cards anywhere because they're literally banned in, in, in the other format. So if it's temporary, why aren't all the cards available? You know, it's a different format. I have to buy cards. Sure, you gotta make money, but make money by making it a whole nother format. That's just smart. <laughs> I mean, damn, bare bones that shit. We don't need no sleeves. You didn't let us play with sleeves this time. Bare bones it, no sleeves. <laughs> you know, let's play your cards like, like Unga Bunga. Like would have been so cool so cool okay and konami take this idea man i'm giving you this idea for free hit me up man 
you need to come up with a rubber band deck uh, uh, sleeve cover. You gotta come up with a rubber band sleeve cover, man. Come on, what are you doing? You dropping the Thunderball again. If you are playing a deck that has no sleeves and your sleeve cover is a rubber band <laughs> over naked cards, that's the perfect digital sleeves. Sell it for 99 cents. I buy that. That's hilarious, man. I like the funny stuff. Don't you see Jesus breaking the devil's ankles right there? That shit's hilarious. I need naked sleeve rubber band deck box. Konami, you can have it for free. You ain't got to pay me for that. Just hit me up. You know, we can do some business. Hit me up. Hit me up. Hit me up. We can talk. We can chat. What's up? We talked and chatted before. Hit me up. You know where I'm at. But I'm saying, you got some killer stuff in the, in the, in, in the thing. And I know that you are struggling bringing people to the game. Literally having press conferences, literally telling your, your stakeholders, hey, we are struggling having people play this game. Struggle no more. Give the people what they're asking for. Like, I, it doesn't make sense to me that I am hearing things, for example, that, like, like for example, I've been watching a lot of um, the Team APS podcast, right? Been watching uh, Pot of Greed, right? And as I've been watching that show, what I've been seeing is whenever they talk about Konami and their business dealings and stuff, they, they're very cautious with their moves, you know? And then, of course, they're a giant. So any move they make is going to be like a lumbering beast. It's going to be like, it's going to be a long, drawn out move, you know? Just because they're big doesn't, you know, doesn't mean that they're agile. But one of the things that, um, that they were talking about or one of the things that they were, uh, alluding to is that sometimes konami just drops stuff to see what people's responses is i'm responding right now and i'm telling you to do it also i'm saying that's a little silly because if you think about it why would you tell me that vr is coming to freaking dual links and nothing else and then tell me that that's just a a try a try and maybe you'll get at it no promises what does that why would you show us that that doesn't make any sense. Either you're doing it or you're not. What's the point of saying that you you see if you if you want to see put out a put out an X. <laughs> send out send out an X. And if you send out an X, maybe we can see it and say, "Hmm, we care or not." But that's not even an accurate um uh number of like like what's popular. I'm not on X. My opinion's not on X. I mean, I'm on X, but I'm not on X. Like, if you post it, I wouldn't see it. I'd see it in YouTube line, but I wouldn't see it in X World. <laughs> Definitely don't want to see it on X video. <laughs> but you want to make sure that it gets out there. So either test it out by saying it or showing an image. Don't test it out by making a whole ass demo that you play live on the stream and go viral and be like, whoopsie doodle, we never planned on doing that shit. Oh, here's 2004 format. Did you ask for this? Could have gave us another GX, um, XC's, Synchro, whatever the hell. You could have gave us any other event. I would have definitely ignored it. Like I've ignored every other event. I've ignored every single event that has come to Master Duel. I have not cared. I'm telling you, I have not cared. But when they dropped that event and they said 2004 Yu-Gi-Oh is real and they said, guess what? You want in? I said, hell yeah. Guess what I bought? I bought Pot of Greed. I bought a uh, freaking Torrential Tribute. Uh, did you have to buy Torrential Tribute? I don't remember. I don't remember if that's UR or not. But I bought Torrential Tribute. I bought a bunch of other URs and stuff. Only UR that I didn't buy that I was kind of anguishing on was Premature Burial. But they had called a haunt. So I said, fuck it. <laughs> but my boys, I mean, this, this, I mean, I really feel like at this point, I think I've said enough on this. I think, I think that you guys really understand where I'm coming from on this. And I feel like if, if Konami came across this little short little podcast where we're getting in there talking about this subject, I feel like this content or this little, um, burst of, uh, 
what I want to call it, uh, <laughs> burst. Of, I don't know, burst of realism about this particular subject. I feel like in this time frame, they should be able to contemplate what they want to do. Um, you know, who's who's to say? But you got to leave a comment or something down below so that if Konami comes by here, they can know your opinion. They can know if you really want this or not. Because think about it like this. If nobody makes any content and nobody says anything about this and nobody comments or likes on this video and it doesn't go anywhere, Konami could reasonably look it up and find, oh, no one cares about this subject no one cares about this thing then they have their analytics and their data on their end and they can look up i don't know what the analytics is let's say they looked it up and it was semi com like like semi confirming that then they're like okay well the people don't want this shit destroy it flush it be gone but maybe they look and there's a ton of comments and maybe they look and there's a ton of responses and maybe they look at their data and they see that people were playing this event up until the minute it closed and was like well damn maybe we should invest in a time machine i've never heard any anyone in the world anything in fiction or non say that they had access to a time machine and didn't want to use that shit y'all got a time machine in trap form y'all got a time machine in master dual form somebody activate the goddamn time machine and bring us back to 2004 <laughs> i'm putting all my money on apple inspire and amazon <laughs> all right I appreciate y'all, my boys, and uh, thanks again for watching another episode of the Think Phase Podcast.